Welcome to the Paldea region, which introduces the brand new Generation 9 Pokemon. An all new journey awaits us with brand new starter Pokemon, where we could choose from Sprigatito, Boycoco, and Quaxly. And with an entire new generation of Pokemon comes a brand new series of Pokemon cards. Because today, for the very first time, we're going to be opening up an entire booster box of Scarlet and Violet base set. Oh, let's go, baby! Dude, how many pulls do you get a box of this? Oh my god, there it is! We got one in this box! Oh! I was not expecting that to happen! Let's see what else we can get from these brand new- There it is! Just like that, baby! Let's go! Did we just pull the best card in Scarlet and Violet base set? This is an entire case of the brand new Scarlet and Violet base set of Pokemon. Today we're going to be opening two booster boxes out of this entire case to get a first look at these brand new cards. Pokemon has made a huge amount of changes to the new generation of cards, and I cannot wait to see what's in store. We're going to be getting started here in just a second, but I wanted to let you know that I'm giving away two Scarlet and Violet base set booster boxes to two subscribers here on the channel. That's the giveaway. All I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comments. Comment section. So now it's officially time to start our brand new Scarlet and Violet adventure. Here we have it for the first time ever, an entire booster box, actually two booster boxes getting opened up today of Scarlet and Violet base set. Let's check this out. Guys, there's so many changes, like the laundry list of changes to the cards is unreal. But let's get the wrap off of here. Check it out, I got the red, you got all these different colors that pop really nicely on this thing. Let's see the pack artworks up close and see how they look. There we go, Maridon and Coridon right there. So yeah, like I said, Maridon and Coridon. We also have Gyarados. Oh man, that looks good. Man, I love me some Gyarados. Okay, okay, that's good in my books. And then we have our three starter Pokemon. Nothing beats a starter Pokemon pack arc, I gotta say. These look really, really cool. Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX. And actually, really quickly, let me show you guys something else that's pretty important. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Pokemon has made so many different changes to these cards. Not only in the packs themselves, the cards, but just everything that you could think of. There's probably been a change to it. But also, something really big here is that the rarities have completely changed on these cards. So if we get over here to this page, I want to show you guys this. This is really cool. So we have your typical common, you have your uncommon, then you have your rare, which is one star. Then you have the double rare, which is two black stars, okay? Then you have ultra rares, which is two gray stars. It's completely changed. <laughs> then you have illustration rares, or what they called, and that is one gold star. Then you have two gold stars, which is a special illustration rare, which is pretty much like a full art special illustration rare or trainer gallery as a lot of people know them as. And then you have the three gold stars, which is the hyper rare, which is going to be your gold cards. So it's a really big set. And uh, if we continue to go through these pages, you're going to see obviously all new generation Pokemon cards. You're going to see great borders. But if we keep going and we get to the end here, you're actually going to see what we call the illustration rares now. And we get to the end here after these trainers, and here they begin right here. So you can see the one gold star on the bottom of these, and you go through and you see all these beautiful artworks. I'm hoping we can pull so many of these out of here. Then you have the double gray stars, which are like full arts and stuff like that, full art trainers. Then you move through, and you have the double gold star, which is the illustration rares as full arts, or alt arts, or whatever you want to call them. And then you have the three star gold, the three gold star basically, which are all these gold Pokemon here. So we can officially open up our first Scarlet and Violet base set booster pack. Hopefully you guys are ready here. Let's get right into this. I think all the code cards are the same as well. I think they're all going to be black border cards. And then you have right for the first time, we're seeing it. It's like the silver borders are officially here. No more yellow borders. Magikarp looking really cool for this artwork. Magnemite as well. Tarantula, we got Florges, we got Credent, we're moving through here, I have no many hits, I, we're already at a reverse, I don't know how many hits we can expect in a box, but look at the reverse on this thing, it has such a cool pattern, alright, let's keep going, no idea what to expect, we got another reverse with that same pattern, yes, you get two reverses in a pack, I know, it's crazy, or at least that's like the worst case scenario, and then we got a Gardevoir EX double rare right there, oh my god, and then the energy is in the bag, so this right here is an ultra rare because it has the double gray star rarity and it's it's completely different. I gotta say it feels different. The texture is a lot smoother. It's really it's really weird to say, but it's like a smoother texture to it. It looks really clean. I mean guys, like 
this is, and you can see on the bottom here. Let me show you close up. So, no, I mean, like, there's so many things that have changed. There's no set symbol anymore. You're going to have SV at the bottom there, English. Uh, so that means Scarlet and Violet. So that's number 220 out of 198. And then there's the two stars, the two silver or, or gray stars, or you want to call them, for this full art Gardevoir EX. There's so much stuff to go over. Like, for the, for the, the other thing that I didn't even mention uh, is that there's no more card trick. Um, so, like, wait, why is this? Oh, wait, that's, yeah, that's supposed to be there. Okay. Um, there's no more card trick because if you look, the last card is an energy. And then the rare is going to be right here. So there's literally no more, like, four to the front or whatever. You could maybe do one to the front, but it's not even worth it for an energy, to be honest with you. Um, but let's go. We got a Mankey Reverse. And each of these has, like, this really cool sort of, like, pattern down here, depending on, I guess, like, what type it is. So since it's a fighting type, we have that. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, it's just so, like, the same sort of pattern per whatever type it is. And then we do have a hollow armor road. Still a million more things I got to tell you about these Pokemon cards, so don't go anywhere yet. Uh, the other thing that I want to say, too, is um, that the worst case scenario is I think you get a hollow in every single pack. So I'm not going to, like, say every single Pokemon name on here, uh, but... We're gonna go through. We're gonna we're gonna go through as many of these packs as we can because I'm doing two booster boxes. So we got two reverses. Then you got the water type there as well. And then look, it's at a minimum you have a Halloween. So okay, I think you can get double bangers. Like you can get the illustration cards and you can get a full art card as well with it or like a, an EX or whatever. Um, so then like there's our energy and the rare is gonna be the last one in here. But and, like there's so many changes. Even the price of these cards has gone up because like I guess inflation and then on top of that they're putting in more shiny stuff in these packs so we gotta like what two reverses why youngster and switch and then iron treads ex as our second big pull of the day but yo wait is this oh my god wait dude i feel like these don't look as good as the english i mean i'm hyped for the new cards but it still looks like it has that mimikyu fade uh i'm not sure dang so on the right is an uh a japanese card that we pulled from a scarlet box and then on the left, the card that we just pulled, but you can see this one is way more brighter, more vibrant, and even the star pattern is like popping better. You have like these colors that go through here, and then like on these EXs in English, it looks a lot more dull, like what we were afraid of with that Mimikyu pull, but let's just keep going, let's keep going. All right, that gets has me a little bit worried on at least the EX cards. I think the full art cards look okay, but at least those like normal EX cards, and that's the double Black Star Rarity, which um, is like a higher rarity tier, or I guess it's called a double rare, is what they're calling them. So let's just keep going and see what. how many pulls are we getting out of a box. We got one full art. I don't know what to call them anymore. Like uh, ultra rare, I guess. Go Goat. And then we do have our hollow and then our energy. I Just bear with me. I have to get used to a lot of the new Pokemon. I don't know. Like, I know a good amount of the po new Pokemon names, but I don't know all of them for sure. And then, um, like, just getting used to the new rarities, what to call them, like double rare, ultra rare, illustration rare, special illustration rare, and then hyper rare. I think actually I got them. But, uh, <laughs> Tarantula reverse, and then a Karyodon. But yeah, this is cool. There's a whole, I mean, just a whole new generation. So many changes to these cards. We're getting the silver borders. We're getting uh, the pack tricks done. Like, I have to get used to so much of this stuff. Like, Coco Tropius, Pokeball, the silver borders. I mean, everything's changing here. Two reverses, Crocodile and a Metatite, and then the slow bro, nice. Okay, I was waiting for this hollow. That's pretty sick. And then the energy's in the back. Let me know what you guys are, are thinking about these cards as of now. Like, we haven't gotten to too crazy of a pull yet. Bro, they still use the battle styles. What is that? This is bent, and then there's like, okay, I think, is that normal there? It looks, mm, I don't know, it looks a little bit different on this one for some reason. But, uh, bro, they still are using the Battle Styles code card. Why would you show Battle Styles as a, featured as, uh, like, the the pack on the back? Okay. Oh, we got our little piggies. And then in DD Hollow. So, like, do we need two reverses in a pack? Do we need a guaranteed Hollow in a pack? You guys let me know. I don't know. I, sorry, I, 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 there's no one correct answer for that. We got Ultra Ball. Pachiriso Reverse. The Slowpoke. That is our very spur first, I should say. Illustration rare. That's super clean. Okay, so that is it. Wait, is this, it's supposed to be a gold star. It is a gold star, but it's really hard to tell. You can see on the bottom there, that's slow bro, uh, slow poke, I should say. Now, can we get something else? Well, we get our hollow still, King Gammon, and then our energy. Okay, okay, the quality is not bad on these. 
I, I still need to see more. Okay, though so there is that. The centering's not too great. Uh, maybe. Okay, okay. I, I just need to see more. But that looks good. I think the big thing right now is like these EXs are not looking how I was hoping they would look. But yeah, we still we still need to open them up more and see what we got going on here. Well, let's see if we can get some really big pulls now. Okay. Oh my god, I almost did the pack trick. Dude, I'm sorry. Like, you gotta bear with me here. Like, I'm just, just trying to get used to this. Uh, we got Heracross, Crocodile, Flamigo. We got Float Soul, Wug Trio into the Oinkaloin EX. And I think it's still... Wait, wait, I think I might be able to compare this to a Japanese one. I definitely pulled a Japanese one. Oh my god. Okay, so the Oinkaloin, look at this. That is the Japanese version, and that's the English version on the left. Do you guys feel like that the, this is, like, not as good as the Japanese printing? I mean, I don't know how I feel about this right now. I'm not trying to be a downer about it. I just want to make sure that uh, you guys are aware of it, and uh, hopefully, I mean, even Pokemon is aware of it, because it definitely does not look as good as the Japanese ones in my opinion, but you know, it's gonna affect the whole printing of a set. So just keep it in mind, I, you know, if they change it for the second set or what. We got Mag, dude, that looks so cool. Honestly, the reverses right now are looking really nice with those patterns and everything. It's pretty good Tito. Enemy House Karate, okay, we just fully evolved. And then our energy, I gotta get used to it. I almost wanna open the pack up at this point and go like this. Take our code card, man, our code, these code cards are definitely getting beat up. But I wanna take the code, I literally wanna take this, this energy and just go like that at this point. Cause like I get to the rare and then I'm just like I still go to the energy because I'm so used to it. All right, Mabustif, we got Riolu. Ooh, let's go, baby! The Arcanine EX. I've been waiting to see this one in English. So as you can see, this is a Terra Pokemon, which basically means it has that cool shining glimmer to it. And then if you actually have this on your bench, it can't take damage at all. So it's like a special type for the EX, and it has like a definitely a cooler look to it for those regular EXs. Then I do have a Japanese Gyarados on hand, which is kind of similar to it, but you can see it's not as dramatic, I guess. It's not as, like, way off like the EX, the other EXs are. Um, it still looks a little bit duller, but it definitely does not look anywhere near as dull as, like, the other ones that we've seen on the regular EX. But yeah, if you guys remember, I opened those Mimikyu collection boxes, and I noticed it pretty much right away when we pulled that Mimikyu out. And I was wondering if it was just because of the Mimikyu card itself, or if it was something, like an error with those promo cards, or if it was going to be the normal thing for these. And it seems like it's going to be the normal thing for these. Mariah Don Hollow. But anyway, so far, I can't complain on the pull rate. Uh, we got the Illustration Rare. We have the Arcanine EX. We have two other EXs. And then we have a full art Gardevoir. So, I mean, we got like five really nice pulls so far. We got the Miriam. By the way, the Miriam cards are in here. So if you're looking for the Waifu cards, you probably can... I don't know how they're gonna, tough they're going to be. Skeledurge. We got Drowsy. Nice with the Psychic type. And then a hound All right, let's keep it going. We're almost halfway through this box. Remember, we're going to get a pretty good look at these because I'm opening up two boxes today. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. Giving away two other sealed boxes. Let's keep it going, though. Let's see what else we can get from these brand new... There it is! Just like that, baby! Let's go! Let's go, baby! No way! No way! The gold double rarity! <laughs> Miriam at that! Miriam at that, dude! No way! Oh, my God! I literally can summon the waifu cards... First box, every time there's a big waifu card to pull, I pull it first try. I don't know what it is. And I'm not even big into collecting trainer cards. I just pull them. I don't know what it is. Dude, let's go. That's wild. This is in the Japanese set. It is the most expensive card by far. It's like, I don't even know how much it is. Like seven, eight, nine hundred dollars Something crazy. In English, I have no idea what it's going to go for. I don't really care. And there's no price pop-ups on the screen right now because this set isn't even out yet. I'm not going to put up prices of, like, cards that aren't even out yet, basically. So I have no idea. You guys can use your best judgment. But that is the Miriam. Let me know what you think. Definitely looks pretty nice. The, the condition's good. The quality's good. The vibrance looks good. The brightness looks good on it. And, uh, yo, I can't believe we pulled that. Like, this could be the biggest card in this set. I have no idea. Woo! Let's go, dude. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know how hard it is to pull a double gold rarity. In double gold star rarity, whatever you want to call it. Um, Fue Coco, but we just did. And it's the Miriam. <laughs> I don't know. We got Cloth. Oh, my God. All right, almost halfway through this box right now. Pulling in the big one. Uh, like, that could very well be one of the most sought-after cards in this set. Since it, I mean, by, in Japanese, it is by far. So, I don't know. I don't know. Quaxwell. Meowth Karate. We're getting all the starters. And Professor's Research, baby. Let's go. All right. And the energy. Okay, I got to get used to that. Woo! All right. Halfway through this box. Freaking crazy. Okay. Tropius now. 
it is kind of cool not to do the pack trick anymore. I got to say, Shroomish Energy Search. All right, but I do, I don't know how I feel about that energy at the back, though. I think it's, I, okay, I think it's good to have it back there because you don't have to worry about the card getting messed up. Usually the last card is the one that gets messed up. So maybe I will just start pulling the, oh my god, the Fido. Literally, it's a dog made out of dough and like donuts, and it's called Fido. I mean, that's like 1 million IQ right there. Great Tusk EX, and it has that same faded look to it. It's interesting how these pull rates are right now, because I have one regular illustration rare, I have four irregular EXs, I have one full art, and then I have one uh, special illustration rare. But then there's also one more rarity that we haven't pulled yet, and it's going to be the three gold star rarity, which is hyper rare. Toad's Cruel, and, that, and then there, there's, our, there's our, our energy at the back. So, okay, 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 I think I... I I'm wondering if we're gonna get more than one special illustration rare in a box. Let's see, Wug Trio. Oh, Arvin, okay, now we get another. Dude, how many pulls do you get in a box of this? Wait, the, the pull rate is like kind of getting crazy right now. Another full art? <laughs> this is kind of wild. Arvin full art. All right, the hyper rare gold cards are definitely gonna be the toughest to pull. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. I feel like those have to be the toughest. That's the illustration. Oh, Tarantula, nice. I love this Pokemon with the side. Dude, Scyther there is just like creeping though. And then a Palmot Hollow. Oh my God. I gotta say though, the quality on this is pretty bad. Look at the print lines going across it, going up and down, going across it. And there's even scratches if you look really close. It's hard to see it, but like, oh, okay. That's not too good. Like the whitening on the back isn't too bad, but the, the card itself definitely has a lot of printing issues. Wild pull rates right now though. I mean, really just really good pull rates. Because before we were getting in the other sets that had high pull rates with like the subset were the trainer gallery cards. But this isn't the case for this one because we only have two of those like trainer gallery slash illustration arts and then one of the higher rarity ones. Skeledurge. So it almost feels like the pull rate is sort of like kind of even throughout the set right now. And it's not just like trainer gallery, trainer gallery, trainer gallery, trainer gallery. It's like a little bit of everything besides those hyper rares. Can we get a hyper rare today? It'll be interesting to see, because remember, we're opening two boxes up, and I want to see, I hope we can get at least one of them. We're, I mean, who knows what the pull rates are on those, to be honest with you. Indeedy, Grievor. It's almost like we're, we're basically just, we're in new uncharted territory right now. I don't know. I haven't seen any of these openings, so I really don't know what to expect. Magikarp, Arvin. I am picking up the pace just a little bit because we do have two boxes, and I want to see as many, uh, how much stuff we could pull out of here. Uh, in this video for you guys. So we got Starly, Zangoose, Youngster, Flaffy, Grimer Reverse, Smear Tome Reverse, and a Mariah. Dude, how many? <laughs> I'm about to pull all the EXs in this set. How many are we going to get today? Kind of wild. We have literally, do we have like six? We have five. Five EXs. One of them has that Terra uh, look to it. Uh, and then two special, no, one special illustration, two illustration cards, whatever you want to call them. And then a two full arts. All right, and it's so many hollows in reverse. Every pack, actually wait, so every pack, does every pack definitely have a hollow then? Or, cause I, I was saying it's the minimum, but I, I think, wait, is it every pack has a hollow? Krokorok, Growlithe, and a Hallucha. I'll be honest with you guys, I actually wasn't paying attention to see if every pack had a hollow or not, but I think it might be. Fido, Scatterbug, uh, blah, blah, Squiggery, Triggery, <laughs> Beach Court. Professor's research. That's why I don't say every single Pokemon. It would just become a big, a big mess of just like blah blah blah. Alamamala, Palmo, Toad School, Florock, Flocato, Stone Journer, Hypno. But yeah, out of all the special illustration cards, the two gold rarity, Miriam, that's definitely a top. That might be number one. Youngster, Blissey, Bisharp, Skiddo, Indeedy. But yeah, are you guys happy to get two reverses and a hollow in a pack? Like, cause like, I, I guess before the worst case scenario was you just get a reverse and a non hollow rare, but that's not the case anymore. You get all these. King Gamut. All right, we have three more packs in our first booster box of Scarlet and Violet base set. Then we're moving on to our second one here. I'll tell you guys how many pulls of each rarity we got. Oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> the top rarity, the top rarity has been pulled. I didn't think we were going to get one, <laughs> dude. And we do get the hollow at the end. It's got to be guaranteed. Oh, my God. And not only that, it's the Mariodon EX. Look at the three gold stars. This has... I, I don't know what to expect from a box, but this has to be a really good box 
the three gold stars. You see them at the bottom down there? That's kind of cool to see that. Like, that looks just, just, that just looks good. I mean, to see three gold stars sounds rare to me. We got one. That was really last minute on this box. Oh my god. Okay. Pull rates are pretty fire. Uh, and pretty much every pull has been a really cool card. Besides the EXs, I mean, like, yeah, the, the, the Arcanine's really cool, but the other ones, I feel like they're, some of them are kind of weird because of how they look. Oh my god. Clauncher now? What? It's not stopping. How, like, I feel like this might be easier to complete these sets. I feel like this set might actually be realistic to complete in a binder. And that's a really nice artwork, by the way. Alright, we got this one pack in this box. Pull rates are, are crazy. Let's see if we get one more pull out of here. I wouldn't expect it from, I mean, based off of the last two packs. Wow, okay. You really got a little bit of everything. Some of a lot of something. Another EX? What is happening? How is the pull rates this good? I, seriously, how is it this good? 13 big pulls out of our first box. Six of them were EXs. Three of them were illustration rares. One of them was a special illustration rare. One of them was the hyper rare three gold star. And then two of them were the two full arts. I honestly think Pokemon has changed it up. And I think it's a little bit easier to complete the sets. Not easy. Not easy. But it's easier. Let me explain my thinking here. There's six of the gold cards in the set. There's no rainbow cards, by the way. Those are gone. Those are done with. There's no rainbow cards. There's six gold cards, which is the three gold star rarity, which I assume is the highest rarity. Then the next rarity down is going to be the special illustrations. There's 10 of those in the set. So realistically, there's 16 cards that are like the toughest to pull, I would assume. That's nothing compared to what it used to be. I think Pokemon has dialed it down. And they're like, yeah, you know what? Let's make this a little bit easier, a decent amount easier to complete the sets. Realistically, I think like I think it's possible to do this without 3,000 4,000 booster packs like from that first box I I almost completed every EX card in the set like basic EX card Which is the double rare whatever it's called. I got six out of the ten. I think there's ten I think I count them up, right? It's kind of interesting to see but let, let's hold on. Let, let's see how we do in this box Let's see if we get another hyper rare or if those aren't gonna be guaranteed in a box Because right now will be a good indication of if they're gonna be guaranteed or at least if we get one in each of ours We got toad school now. Let's go and then we do have a spit off. So those are two cards that we needed. So like right there, we got like seven of the EXs now, um, which is kind of crazy out of the 10. We're getting a lot of these illustration cards. It's kind of more realistic. I mean, I don't, it's still gonna be a lot of packs probably. Like instead of 4,000 packs or 3,000 packs, maybe it's a thousand packs. Like it's still gonna be probably a lot to make it happen, but in comparison, I think it's going to be a lot less, to be honest with you. It's still going to be crazy. All right, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to keep counting again. There was 13 pulls in our first box. But more importantly, I really want to see if we still get two full arts, one hyper rare, and then one of the special illustration cards. I want to see if that's the same or not. All right, let's keep it rolling. Sorry, I have to pick up the pace a little bit just because I don't want the video to be too, too long so that you guys are like... You know, still able to check out this whole video. I know everybody has a certain amount of time they can watch videos for, and I appreciate you guys watching. But it's cool. I feel like we're in uncharted territory. I feel like we're checking out all these new Pokemon cards. We're seeing, we're literally learning right now um, how these work and like what kind of pull rates we're looking at, which is cool. Let's figure it out together. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong about stuff, but at least we're learning right now. Quaxley, Crushing Hammer, Hypno. Oh my god, there it is! Yes, we got one in this box. This, oh, dude. Yo, I don't care. I like these more than the hyper rare. The special illustration. Look at the pattern on that. That looks so sick. The Gardevoir E. Bro, you can get. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, they went ahead and they let you get the special illustration and the full art. Uh, Double rare, whatever. No, double rare. Double rare? Ultra rare. Ultra rare. Magnezone. Oh my god. The double banger of all double banger packs right now. Let's go. I like how this is looking so far. I really like how this is looking so far. This is crazy. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. That is a pack right there. How lucha. That is a pack right there. Seriously. That was probably one of the best packs in terms of how many pulls you get out of one. I'm tired of those energies in the back, though. They got to go. 
We got... Oh, wait, that was... They're it. like a protective barrier for our rare, though. They're a protective barrier. Because um, if you look at cards, especially like Wizard of the Coast era, that last card was always had whitening because there were no code cards. Great Tusk EX. We got five pulls so far. Pretty decent. Are we going to get a hyper rare in this box, though, is the question today. Um, and are we going to get 13 pulls again? Let's see what happens. We got Katie... XP share. I actually don't even know how many hollows are in the set. It's probably a lot. Now that I think about it. Sprigatito. Houndor. We got Hypno, Beach Court, Meditite, Drifloon, Quackaval. Still figuring out how I want to go through these packs, too. So I might just like literally go like that, not show the code in the beginning, and just go straight through them like this. So it's just go straight through and then Palmot and then grab the code. That might be it. Um but definitely no more Patrick, at least. That's kind of cool. But yeah, it's going to be... Oh my god, I'm going to probably mess up so many times if I'm going back and forth with two different gens. Riolu! Illustration rare. Can we get something behind it? The slow bro hollow. Yo. Okay, that's probably my favorite regular illustration rare so far today. Dude, Riolu's working now. Okay. Okay. Or just destroying everything. One or the other. Let's keep it moving, baby. Halfway through box two, two, four, five, six pulls so far. Almost about half as many pulls as the first box, but we're just about halfway there, so let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can get a hyper rare. All right, so now what do you guys think so far? I do I do think I'm definitely going to miss the yellow boars. That's just me. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm a nostalgia guy, so I just, I still think I'm going to miss. We got Fido, the premium Fido, the, the dog made of the bread. Basically. I don't think it looks bad at all. Honestly, I don't think they look bad. It's just like, it's you got to get used to it. You know what I mean? You just got to get used to it. But Wiglets, Brigatito, Amaro. All right, keep it going. I just said that wrong. Armor, armor rouse, right? I don't know. I keep saying that one. It's so weird. I've said it like 10 different times before. Lotzel, Lucario, Meowth, Karada. All right, come on. Let's see what we got in the rest of our box here. Um, we haven't gotten a pull in a little bit. We got... Six pulls total. I feel like there's going to be one in here. Quaxley, Mariodon EX. All right, we're about to find out. If there is no Hyper Rare in here, then we'll know that they're not guaranteed in a box, which I would not be surprised if they're not guaranteed in a box, but I also would be surprised if they were guaranteed in a box. I would be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Well, I made no sense, but you know what I mean. All right. Let's see. We got Growlithe. Growly. Smollip. Ultra Ball. Magnemite. Skrilladeers. Now I'm just really messing up. Skeletors. It's a Skeletor. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Potion Weasel. Youngster. Shroomish. Cryodon. Where's our pulls? Last box, there were a lot of pulls actually at the end. So let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what happens. Metachamp, Quaxwell, Metachamp again. Definitely slacking on the pulls. Pun intended on that, but definitely slacking. For real. Oh, uh, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six more pulls to catch up to the first box. Ooh, another new. Oh, my God. Wait, this one also has a print line. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen print lines on full art cards before. That's kind of interesting. Okay. And then the, the energy right behind it. But the Steam Team Star Grunt. That does give us two full arts, though. It does give us two full arts like the first box. Okay. That's the same. The special illustration rare, we have the same amount of as well. Toad Scroll, Smoliv, Clotcher. Hmm. I think we can still get the same amount of pulls. I just don't know about this hyper rare thing, what's gonna happen. All right, that's, yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure something out for that. Wait, Coco, Pe Penny, Quaxwell. Right. Oh, whoa. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that to happen. Two, okay. Dude, hold on a second. This is not conclusive evidence, but getting two secret rares, one in each box is kind of crazy. There's only six, and we got two of the six. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for an energy gold card. Or Yeah, gold card. Wow, we have very similar pull rates right now. This is actually kind of weird. So if we, if we keep it around the same as the first box, we're due for three more EXs and I think just one more regular illustration rare. If we get the same rarities too, I'm just gonna be kind of weird because Japanese boxes and sets have usually have the same amount of like, you get one secret rare in a box. 
Palmot. Okay. That's a cute card. And a Bayonet EX. Dude, this is going to be weird. All right. Let's see if this happens. This is going to freak me out. If there are only two more pulls in here and both of them are EXs and make it even crazier, one of them has that Terra like shine thing to it. So either like an Arcanine or, or the Gyarados. That'd be weird. That could mean, potentially, again, this is only two boxes, but it is strange if they're exactly the same rarities. That could mean that they're going with more of an approach of giving you the exact same amount of rarities per box. But I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, we would just need two more EXs, and maybe one of them has that shine, that extra shine thing to it. That's going to be weird if we get the same ones. Toad School. Okay. Hmm. Because with all the other sets we've opened up from other generations, it'll be like you get, sometimes you get like two secret rares or in a box or in like sometimes it's three. Sometimes you get no alt arts. Sometimes you get whatever. Like it's always kind of like all over the place. There are going to be two more EXs in here. We got three more packs. Okay. Let's see what happens. Hmm. This is interesting. Muck, shup it. Mouse Karata. The only way that'll happen is if these last two packs right here both have an EX in it. Kind of nervous to see what happens here. All right. This could be a game changer for expected pulls or pull rates in a box. Here we go. Let's see what happens. No, it didn't. Okay. So let's see what's in this one. We got 11 pulls total. We have almost the exact same card pull rates, except we're missing two EXs. We got the Hyper Rare. We got the special illustration. We got the two full arts. We got the three regular illustrations. And then we got four EXs. Too short on the EXs. Let's see what's in this last pack. All right, Buizel. Wow, okay. That's, okay. So first box, slightly more pulls. Two more EXs. One of them had that cool shine to it. And uh, there's overall a lot of pulls. And I think it's actually more, a lot more realistic to complete a set. Still probably really tough. But that's the brand new Scarlet and Violet base set. That is going to do it, but hold on just a second because tomorrow, make sure you come back here to the channel because I'm going to be opening the brand new Elite Trainer boxes of Scarlet and Violet base set. And they changed a lot of things on those, including two new promo cards and a ton more. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want some more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.